Ang gaganapin ng World Cup, parating isa sa title favorites ang Brazil. Pero may 16 years na rin ang nakalipas mula ng huli silang mag-champion. Sila na nga ba ang mag-aangat ng trophy sa Russia? Let's talk now to football analysts Natasha Alquiroz and Guilherme Hasegawa who is here for the first time on The Score. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for our Road to Russia special. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. This yeah. night. Oh, Natasha, since this is Coach Gee's first time here on the show, I will throw the first question to him. Coach Gee, you are half Brazilian, half Japanese, and you played exactly. football here in the Philippines. Now you're coaching. So, Coach Gee, since you're the Brazilian, I want to ask you who you're most excited about from Brazil in their uh, uh, play here in the World Cup in Russia. Well, for sure, Neymar, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, and then also... I'm, I'm, I have a great expected expectation for Gabriel Jesus. He's, uh, I'm, he came from the team that I support in Brazil, which is Palmeiras, mm -hmm. and he's doing very well in Manchester City, so I believe Gabriel Jesus will do a great job in the World Cup. Even right now, Firmino, he's, uh, he's playing so, so well in Liverpool. So it's in between Gabriel Jesus and uh, Firmino now. But I still believe more in Gabriel Jesus. I like his style. Okay. Now, Natasha, Coach Gee, of course, mentioned Neymar. But uh, there is some concern with regards to his health. I saw two days ago, he was already back on the pitch working on mm -hmm. his skills. Um, but he hurt a metatarsal on his right foot and had to go under the knife for that. How effective do you think he will be come the World Cup a little over a month from now? Well, I think he said it also himself that he'll be in good shape and in fit to play. Mm -hmm. So the downside of all of this is that we don't know about his match fitness, yeah. which is very different, you know, depending because he won't be able to get much games before when he gets to play for the World Cup. Yeah. But if you look on the positive side, he'll be very rested for the World Cup. So and I think that with that mindset that he will do well in the World Cup, whether he starts or comes off off the bench, because every time Neymar plays, he always makes a difference. Like, and currently, you know, he's the fourth top goal scorer for yeah. Brazil. You know, he has 53 goals under his name. So I'm pretty sure that he'll make it in time for the World Cup. But to add more to the injuries, Danny Alves was injured recently. Is that right, Coach Gee? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, uh, in the last game from the final of PSG, mm -hmm. he got injured. Now... We are concerned. Yeah. Uh, the the same doctor of Neymar, he he went there now to to France, uh -huh. so he will check uh, on both Daniel Alves yeah. and uh, Neymar. We are not sure. We have to wait about uh, I think one week to uh -huh. because Daniel Alves he's trying to don't make the surgery. Yeah. Be, so he will be able to play the. Yes. So we have to wait uh, for one week now before the the list the roster mm. of the. The World Cup. I, I expect that he play because uh, he's a really good player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also about Neymar, I believe that he will be good for the. He will be prepared for the World Cup. Uh -oh. uh, same as uh, when Ronaldo, he was injured. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody thought he was not able to play anymore. Yes. And then he he proved the opposite. So he will. I think Neymar will do the same this World Cup. And I think that Brazil also wants to make up for what happened during the last World Cup four years ago in Brazil. And, and it seems that Brazil is um, running into a stroke of bad luck because Neymar wasn't able to play in the semifinals four years ago. And uh, their team captain, Thiago Silva, also wasn't able to play because of an accumulation of yellow cards. So do you think that yung pagkatalo nila against Germany, that 7-1 that to one loss, is still in the minds of Brazil? Or do you feel like they only lost that one because of the lack of players. What do you guys think? Well, I think that um, they will never forget that. That's mm, something that okay. they won't forget. It happened 7-1. But if you base it on will they move forward, will they do better? Yes, because they recently had a friendly against Germany. Yeah. They had a friendly back in March and they won 1-0. Okay. against Germany so that really softened the blow you know there was a good goal again uh, from Jesus and the good thing about that they also um, stopped the 22 winning streak of Germany hmm. at that time okay. so the good thing about it is that you know at the end of the day you move on you know no matter what you're only as good as your last game and yeah. they've had a lot of games after yeah. that and I think that they're on the right path you know with a with their two friendlies good win against Russia and another win against Germany I think that you know they're confidence level is back there again. It's good that you mentioned that, Natasha, because uh, the next question is about the playing style 
about Brazil. They've always been known for their flamboyant style, the usage of creativity from the time of Pele. Um, do you think that this type of style, Coach Gui, is still effective in today's football with, with the evolution of the game? Yes, I think so. And I expect it, it never ends because that's what makes uh, the football fun, right? Mm -hmm. You uh, also when uh, the, the game is like very even, and you you need someone to, to challenge one one and uh, and take that uh, to break the line. So mm -hmm. in those times, uh, it's when we need like players like uh, Neymar, Philip Coutinho, mm -hmm. and all the creative players that uh, Brazil and have. Natasha, uh, do you agree with that? that yes, uh, I, okay. uh, I definitely agree with that. And you know, of course, especially like, again when you play like down the flag, down the line, when mm. you can't break them through the passes, you have to have players who are technically good, technically okay. sound, who can be good in one on one situations. Again, as you said, to break the line. Okay. Now, looking at history, in the five World Cup titles that Brazil has won, they have only won once in Europe, in Sweden. So, do you consider that like, like a jinx, um, knowing that they're coming to Russia? Or um, is there something else that Brazil can prove when they go to Russia in the World Cup a little bit over a month from now? Well, I, believe, I don't believe that's a, a jinx <laughs> at first because a national team that have already five uh, World Cup champions, mm. uh, <laughs> you yeah. cannot like really consider as that. But yeah, yeah I, I think um, we, can, we can break that jinx <laughs> this time um, and yeah. give, uh, have our second title in Europe. Okay. We, we, we've been doing well in, uh, in South America mm -hmm. in the past, but um, yeah, I do believe this time we have a great team. We can do. We can do well. I think we can be champion. And Brazil also won a World Cup in Japan, right? And that's yes, when, that's exactly. when you started watching the World Cup. Yes, exactly. All right. For the last question, uh, Natasha, in the group of Brazil, who do you think poses the biggest threat to Brazil in advancing? Uh, to be honest, I think that. Brazil is already the more favored. Okay. To be the number one spot to get that number one spot in Group E. And I think that uh, Switzerland, Serbia, and Costa Rica, they'll all be fighting for that second spot. Mm. And if you base it on how Costa Rica played back in 2014, you know, they reached the quarterfinals, they did pretty well, they beat Uruguay and Italy, and in the, they made it all the way to the quarterfinals where they lost the Netherlands. And at the same time, you have Switzerland that uh, came from the group with Portugal and uh, was only second by goal difference. So I think that these are the two teams to watch out for, for that second spot. But um, I think that Brazil will be favored to get that first spot. I mean, you also have to look at the facts that Brazil is a high-profile team. Mm -hmm. All their players are high-profile players. All of them most probably playing the best football in their careers, okay. playing in the top leagues, winning championships in the top leagues, respectively. Coach Gui is already hyped about uh, Brazil. <laughs> Any last words uh, before we close our discussion? Uh, get the fans to watch and uh, support Brazil in the upcoming World Cup. Well, it's um, about one month to, yeah. to go. I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, I'm counting the days uh, to, to, to watch the World Cup right now. And uh, yeah, I'm have, I have a high expectation for Brazil this World Cup. I believe that we're going to have a plus one more star this All year. Right. <laughs> All right. You heard it from Coach Guy and Natasha. So thank you so much, guys. And uh, we'll you, see right. you again soon. Thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.